Hey guys and welcome to yet another Age of Mythology unit comparison. In this video we're going to be covering the Greek hero unit, so when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now this will be a rather short comparison video compared to the other ones because I want to be comparing the hero units versus each other mainly. I will include some other challenges but I'm going to be focusing around hero versus hero challenges. Special campaign heroes will be excluded and the ship hero will also be excluded. We're going to be covering land units only. Now keep in mind these comparisons are purely for fun and there is some sense and information in there. But mostly in actual situations there will be a large army and there will be upgrades for the units and for the heroes that I won't have in these challenges so outcomes can be very very different. Now in the Archaic Age the Greek gods have four different heroes being Jason, Ajax, Odysseus and Theseus. In a hero versus hero scenario I first tested the original three being Jason, Ajax and Odysseus. Now the fights took quite long but Odysseus did come out on top, Ajax in second place and Jason in last place. And if you add Theseus in the mix versus Jason, the one who comes out on top is obviously better in a one-on-one, -on -one, which is Jason. Now I was going to do more tests initially but the tests weren't really that interesting because the outcomes were the same over and over again. Of course hero units will be better against myth units and creatures of set at all times. Here you can see the overview of the Archaic Age and as you can see Odysseus came out on top. I know it was just two challenges but if I did more which I did record and test the outcome would still be the same. Hopefully in future videos covering cavalry and other unit types in a comparison video I can go way more in depth because there's more interesting things to talk about with those units. And now in the classical age we have Hippolyta, Chiron and Hippocrates or Hippocrates. Now Hippocrates is a healer so he doesn't really have a use here and he's going to be losing all challenges but keep in mind he can be useful in game. In a one on one Hippolyta will always be Chiron. Now something that's interesting is that Hippolyta actually has a higher bonus versus the Nidhogg myth unit which is a Norse god power. I don't know why this is because they are from the same age but Hippolyta simply is way better at dealing damage against the Nidhogg. Just something I thought I'd add in the video. And against buildings they pretty much do the same damage so that wasn't really worth testing. Now here's the total score and really there isn't that much to be said, Hippolyta just performed way better in these challenges. That's it. Next up we have the Heroic Age with Heracles, Atalanta and Achilles. Now this one was rather surprising, I did not expect Heracles to come out on top. I thought Achilles was going to be the best hero here because Achilles, but no. Heracles was the best one-on-one, -on -one, Achilles was second place and Atalanta was last place. I then tested them against a stronghold because why not and Heracles again did more damage against the building in a shorter period of time, Achilles was second place and Atalanta was last place. And against a Hydra myth unit the outcome was again the same and Heracles was the best. Now that I think about it, it might just be Heracles, uh, my pronunciation is very, very bad. Now as for the total score, Heracles, Heracles, on top, number one, Achilles with no upgrades, second place, and Atalanta, third place. Now comes the interesting part, the mythic age with Bellerophon, Polyphemus, and Perseus. And I know my pronunciation is crap, but these are interesting, very, very interesting. I thought before going into this that Perseus would be the best one-on-one -on -one with Medusa's head, but I was wrong. Polyphemus owned both of them and came out on top in a 1v1, Bella following second place and Perseus was last place. What? Now this is because they weren't able to use their instant kill attack on each other, but Bella was able to use his little charge. It is what it is. The next challenge was against 5 Romilio because 10 was just simply too much and the outcome was again very similar. Polyphemus is simply just a tank. Perseus is very good when micromanaged and used on units that can be instant killed with a lot of HP 
But against just a little army, Perseus won't be doing that much, especially if those units had upgrades, they would have absolutely cut through him like a knife through butter. Next up, a challenge versus a stronghold. Now, I wonder which of these units will be the best against buildings. It definitely wouldn't be the Cyclops now, would it? Oh, wait, it is. Polythemus, again, comes out on top, but surprisingly, Bellerophon comes in second place. I thought Perseus would do better against buildings than Bellerophon, but I was wrong, again. Now, where does Perseus shine? Well, 1v1, or just micromanaged on a myth unit, Chimera instant killed. Same with Polyphemus, and Bella cannot do this. There you go, he uses Medusa's head to turn the Chimera to stone. Bye bye, Chimera. As you can see, Polythemus comes out on top. Now, all of these heroes cost exactly the same. 400 gold, 6 favor, and 4 population. I would say in a competitive player's arsenal or someone that knows what they're doing, Perseus can be more valuable than Bellerophon simply because of that instant kill mechanic. Also, something that should be noted is Perseus has a 10 times bonus against myth units, while Bellerophon only has 5, meaning without his instant kill mechanic, he's still better, if not twice as good, against myth units as Bellerophon. Just something to note. Now that's pretty much it for this comparison video. I know it's a rather simple one and I plan to make a very expansive comparison at some point in the future, but I also need to think about my main channel. I have a channel with over 40,000 subscribers I upload active RuneScape content to, and it's already hard enough and time consuming to upload to one channel, let alone a second channel. So I thought this hero comparison would be at least something to keep you guys busy until I have enough time to put more time into videos for Age of Mythology, Subnautica, Ark, and so on on this channel. Anyways, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.